everybody. So this is the sped up version of the Minimal Mythos Selkie, or Seal Woman, as often called. The original full-length version is actually up on YouTube, and there'll be a link in the description if you want to watch that, because this was done during a live stream. I'm looking into doing more live streams later, so if you'd like to be informed about that sort of thing, you should probably follow me on Twitter. That's likely the most reliable place to hear about them. Anyway, so this particular one was very interesting to, uh, to concept out. I had a difficult time trying to decide how I wanted to incorporate the sort of two sides of the Selkie myth into one design, which here is a woman who turns into a seal or has a seal skin and essentially lives in the ocean for most of her life unless the seal skin is stolen from her. So for this particular myth, I, I had started with the idea of a woman removing a seal skin. So, you know, sort of stepping out of the water. Of course, these don't really have backgrounds, but the idea was a woman coming from the ocean, removing her seal skin. But unfortunately, the, the sketches that I tried to do of that didn't turn out very well. They all kind of looked like she had like a dead seal on her, or she was she was kind of killing a seal, wearing a seal pelt. It it didn't really fit the uh, the style I wanted to go with in this series, which is sort of a positive light on all of these mythological creatures, and just you know the simple design and aesthetic that I've done so far with all the rest of them. So I, I ended up coming up with some ideas of, well, what if I portray the woman inside the seal instead? Which also kind of doubles as a picture of a woman swimming beside a seal, which is cool. So I ended up going up with that idea, and it really turned out quite well, I think. The design is much more aesthetically pleasing than a woman coming out of a seal, and ended up being a really nice and flowy design, sort of reminiscent of the ocean, which I really like. Um, and actually, so I, this I'm recording this quite a bit after doing this design and putting it up for sale on Redbubble. If anybody wants products with this design on it, you can find a link in the description. Uh, so. It's, it's interesting to see that this is actually the, so far, most well-liked design on there out of this and the unicorn and the kitsune that are on there right now. So, my boyfriend seems to think that it's because it's a marine animal, and apparently they are quite popular. So, I will be adding a mermaid design quite soon. Of course, it'll be in the same style as these. I don't want to you know, go for tacky beach designs or anything. But I'm really enjoying glorifying the mythological creatures and turning them into these very simple, minimalist graphic designs. Some of the pauses here are when I was talking to someone on chat on the live stream. I wasn't able to cut quite all of them out, unfortunately. But if you want to go watch them again, there will be a link in the description. It's funny, at this point I haven't done humans as much as I have done animals recently. So this was a bit of a challenge trying to get the, the humanoid shape without it being too kind of wonky or off in perspective because I hadn't had I haven't been practicing as much recently as I would like. But I do think it turned out quite well.
And now for the fun part, space painting. I tried to choose uh, colors with all of these space paintings that fit the idea of the myth that the uh, particular creature comes from. So for the kitsune, sort of red fox, fire, the unicorn, the blue, I tend to think of as a very classic and royal color. And then here I chose sort of sea ocean colors, sort of teals and blues and dark blues. And I really enjoy how they've all turned out. I'm going to try and continue that with some of my next in the series. Unfortunately, being a little distracted on this one, I got, I uh, forgot the eyes until later. It's interesting seeing the dark gray version here. I almost think I should do a black version of some of them on black version, but that would be quite a bit more work. I don't know. Maybe if people are interested in it, comment if you'd like one. the final version. So thanks for watching. Again, links will be in the description to other stuff, like the live stream and the red bubble, and 